I'm going to switch my camera. And we're going to begin. We're going to review today. Um, the separation kicks, as I said, the turn body right heel kick, and we'll be going on from there. So let's start from the beginning of section two with um, from cross hands. Okay, I'll call the moves as we as we go. Okay. So cross hands, embrace the tiger, return to the mountain, shift and turn, circle up and down, down and up, step to the right, brush and strike, roll back, raise the right arm, connect and turn to the left, press, circling in, Extend, push, push your weight back and then shift it back forward. Fist center elbow, shift and flatten, starts like single whip, pivot or pick up your foot, shift your weight back, meet in the middle, continue to the side, push off, pick up the left foot, step one line, two sides to the corner, Reaching with a ward off, step, pulling down, shift your weight to your right leg, switch to the heel, make a fist and punch. Repulse the monkey, one, swing and step, heel down, push off. Number two, swing, step, strike. Number three, swing, step, and Strike, diagonal flying, circle, turning, step, warding off. Raise hand, step forward, step back, push off the front of the fall and turn to the left. Uh, uh, white crane, rotate the hands, rock back, big circle, pick up the right foot, step, Turn and step on the left ball. Left crush knee. Swing and step. Brush and strike. <clears throat> Needle to the C bottom. Yield. Come back on the heel. Switch to the ball. Forward and down, bending both knees. Fan through the back. Rotate, grab, lift, and strike. Fan through the back. Circle, right arm comes across, turn body, chop with fist. <clears throat> parry block of punch, circling, parry, block, and punch. Shambhu to grasping a bird's tail. Ward off right. Roll back. Press. Push. Single whip. Pivoting, circle back, circle in with the left hand. Make your hook, rotate the leg, board off, and strike. Cloud hands, circling to the right, turning to the left, step one, two, Three. Single whip. High pat on horse. Step on the ball and throat strike. 
left separate right separation kick one step circling to the right circle back to the left look over your cross and look and kick turn your arms <clears throat> sink and step number two left separation kick circle look over your cross stand kick <clears throat> turn body right heel kick turn your knee rotate both arms to the right extend your leg and spin to the other side spin around landing on the ball of the foot stand and kick with your left heel <clears throat> okay we ended there let's do it a couple more times does anyone have questions before we move on or rather before we practice it a couple more times no okay. i had one but i forgot i'm sorry it'll come oh. <laughs> well if it comes you just you know let me know okay let's do yeah, it again. Okay. okay let's go through it again from cross hands embrace the tiger return to the mountain shift and turn circle looking to the left step to the right almost a corner brush and strike roll back turning press push this thunder elbow starts like single width turn and pull to 10 30 Right arm bends, left arm circles in, hands meet, go to the right side, push off the three o'clock. Step one line, two sides with the left foot, boarding off, step with the body, pull down, set the heel, lift and punch. Repulse monkey, one, rotate the left hand, swing to the right, heel, toe down, heel down, arm hand to the shoulder, push off. Number two, swing and step, shoulder, strike. Number three, swing and step, heel down, strike. Diagonal flying. Raise hands, step forward, step back with the left foot, big circles. Set the right heel as you turn, roll onto the heel. Left brush or uh, white crane, rotate the hands, rock back. Step as you close, shifting, turning, step out on the ball as you open your wings. Left brush knee, rotate the right arm, swing and step, brush and strike. Needle to the seat bottom, needle, come back on the left heel, raise the left arm, switch to the left ball, and swing. Fan, <clears throat> fan through the back, trap the hand, lift, and strike. Turn body, chop with fist. Carry, lock and punch. Carry, lock and punch. Shambu, extend that left arm. Circle back in as you step and board off. Roll back. Press. Push. Single whip, shift and flatten, turning with the waist first, circle the 1030, circle that left hand in to meet the right, make your hook, pivot on the left ball, pick up the foot step as you ward off, and strike. Cloud hands.
Single whip. Pipe cat on horse. Shift to your back knee or your back heel and then step to the ball. Uh, right separation kick. Shifting your weight, turning to the right a little. Step toward the left corner, almost the corner. Circle to the right, circle back to the left, rise, point in the knee where you're going to kick, kick. Turn the left hand to the, bring the left hand to the shoulder, rotate the right one, leaving the arm extended. Number two, sink and step, almost a corner, shift, circle to the left, circle back to the right, look over your cross, stand, look, kick, bring it back your knee, turn body, right heel kick, rotate both hands, palms up, extend the left foot, circle around, sink, you're on your left toe, stand, left heel kick, and bend the knee. Uh, I remembered my question, Brian. Yeah. Um, during a pulse monkey, I'm still unclear on the, is it heel or toe? What is the front, the leg that comes in front, what is it doing? Is it heel, toe, or? It's an, well, we're on an empty stance and we're using, um, when the leg is in front, we're on our heel, but that front leg becomes the, the back leg, right? Each time we go back. Yeah. So first we start in an empty stance on the ball. So let me show you this way. Yeah. So I'm on the left toe. Okay. Yeah, that's from the first uh, uh, fist under elbow. Yes. Front ball. Then I have to reach back with the toe. Then I put the heel down and now my front foot is flat. Right? Both knees. Yeah. Both. Yeah. This, in order to get to the first movement to direct the energy, now I'm going to pivot on the front right heel. Push off and pivot. Oh, 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 here. Okay. Yeah, I see. Step, heel down, push off. Right. See, so I have to lift my heel to do that, right? You push but off to strike, to strike, is what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Yes. But you know how we always have a transition, right? So our feet are yes. moving all the time. So let's practice it a couple of times together. I will go this direction so you can watch my feet if that helps. So first start with the ball of the left foot and you finish at this under elbow. Repulse monkey number one. One, swing the, the arm to the right arm to the side, turn the left hand over, reach back with the left foot, the toe. Put the toe, the heel down as you bring your hand to the shoulder and now push off the front foot, pivoting on the heel. All right. So, so is your right, right now, is your right toe off the ground? No. Uh, flat. The right foot. It's, right um, it's fairly, it's flat basically, but okay. it's, it's, the emphasis still, emphasis is still on the heel. Okay, okay. So that's okay. where you're push. That's where you push off. So okay. as you're pushing off, pivot. It's touching the floor when you stop. Okay. And get up. The next one. Heel down. Push off. Yeah. So you're stable. I see. Right. I see. Yeah. Now I'm not sure if I if I mentioned this while we're talking about repulse monkeys. Let me correct me if I did not. One way to check how far you, how narrow you're going to be when you step. You okay, Thomas? Oh yeah, I'm fine. Are you all right? I'm good. Okay. One way, um, just as long as you're not fainting, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, when, when you step back, remember we're trying to step back in a narrow step. We don't want to cross our heels though. 
So if I step back, it's a little hard to see my black pants, but if I step straight back, see if you can see how close my toe, my foot looks to my, my other foot, my foot in the front, looks yes. pretty narrow, doesn't it? Yes. So if I step back like this, and then I put my toe down at an angle, if I pull my feet together, I run into each other and I'm really narrow and I don't have very good balance. Right. 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 So I learned this neat little trick about it's difficult to figure out your backward stepping pattern because you always have to look, 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 check, check, check. And then you have to trust yourself that you're doing it right. So right. here's a technique that works for me really well. So I start from the empty stance. I pick up my foot and instead of putting my toe, my leg straight back from where my hip is, I step it out to the side but my foot is gonna come down at an angle. When I lay my foot down at an angle toward my center, the heel is toward my center, so it's coming in and my yeah. toes are out. When I push off, I'm lined up. Yep. Step back, step out a little to this right side with the next foot, put it down at an angle, push off. Yep. Yep. So I um, I don't know, Mark, if you're having any difficulty with that, um, but you want to try to set the angle of your back stepping foot before you try to pivot off your front heel. Okay. Yeah. So let me put it another way, or but let me put it a better way. When you step back, I'm going to do it this way. When you step back, and I don't know if anyone's doing this, and so you put your foot down. Don't start putting the heel down straight, watch. Don't put it down straight back and then try to adjust it. So instead of trying to find it and turn it, when you pick it up and set it, angle it now. Just set it at an angle without putting your weight on it yet. I mean the heel down and then just drop the heel. And you're all set. Okay, and it's you'll be more stable doing that as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay, because it's important when we're going backwards that we're not going to like fall. And if we cross our heels or we're too close, we can be very wobbly. Okay. Yes. Okay. Do we have any other questions about repulse monkey? Not not repulse monkey, but I have a question about another part of the form. Okay. What is it? Um, Go ahead. And I'm, I apologize for just being so dark I, I, you know uh after we do um carry tiger to mountain and then we do begin to turn uh toward the 180 i noticed you said um ward off what's that okay so after after we do repulse monkey and then we turn 90 degrees and do um, the horizontal circle with the arms. Oh, yes, yes. Then Where we, do we step? Yeah, then we step to the opposite corner. Yes. Uh, I'm not sure about the hands. I, I, I thought I heard you say ward off. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I made a mistake with that. I did say ward off. It's actually split energy. Oh, it's a lifting. It's a lifting arm, not a ward off arm. Sorry, not my mistake. So when we're doing diagonal flying, and good observation, by the way, I'm glad you noticed that. I would rather have someone tell me if I've confused them than go away confused, okay? <laughs> that it's not good to go away with the wrong information. Okay, so um, let's see. Repulse monkey, okay, so we're here. Let's see, which one are we at? Oh, we're like this. Okay, so when we do um, diagonal flying and we step back, we're actually lifting someone's arm and pulling it down, right? So where we're lifting, where we're raising the arm, and it looks exaggerated here because of the camera, but we want our arm to be about our face height or a little bit higher. And it's along the same line as our leg. And the, leg, the foot should be pointed to the 45 degree angle. So it's pointing at 130. 
approximately. We're gonna bow step to the corner on the right side. So if I'm, I'm facing 12 o'clock in this movement, so my left foot is facing 12 o'clock, my right foot should be at 130, and I'm in a bow step to the corner. Do you know what that is? Yes. Okay, so does that answer your question? Yes, thank you. Okay, okay. Okay, any other questions? I don't think so. All right, so let's practice. Um, I'm going to practice the turn body heel kick uh, with you a couple of times, just separately. And then we're going to go, review, well, then we'll review um, the separation kicks and the turn body heel kick together. Okay. So I'm going to do the opposite side of the, uh, the, uh, Turn body heel kick. I'm going to see if I can do that. Okay, so let's see. Let's this. Okay. So from uh from the last separation kick, it's a left kick, and our arms are out. The left arm is extended along the line of our left leg, and the right arm is um going uh, approximately to the uh, 12 o'clock, okay? So this should be about 135 degrees. So first we're going to rotate our arms to the um, right side and turn both of them over. So they just turn over. So both palms are up, right? That we'll just do the hands first. And then we're going to swing the arms around. And as we do that, <clears throat> The right hand, we're going to turn to the opposite uh, side. And now we're going to be facing three o'clock. And our right arm will be on the inside, close to us. And the left arm will be on the outside of the cross. Oh. And then we will do our kick and we'll do kicking arms again. So then the left arm will be straight to three o'clock, and the right arm will be to the back corner. So let's do that again. So starting from um, here, I'll go the same direction as you. That'll make more sense for you. Okay, so I'm going to start in this direction. This is your direction. So my left arm, um, I kick to my left side. So my left arm is pointed on, is approximately in the corner of the left side. And my right arm is to six, is to, um, 12 o'clock. So that's almost 1030 and um, almost um, 12 o'clock. Okay, so rotate, swing both. Actually, all you have to do is bring the left arm over to the right and turn them both up. So they look like this. So from here, facing you head on, rotate the left arm across and rotate the right arm. So they're both pointing to 12 o'clock like this, palm up. Then from here, we're going to swing around with the arms, turning to the opposite side and cross them. The right arm should be on the inside of your body, left arm on the outside. I would be this way. And then you're going to kick and your arms are going to go out again. Okay. Does that make sense? Does anyone have questions about the arms yet? So arms are over here at 12 o'clock. We yes. have to on to the left. Right yeah. arm is inside, left arm over. And then yeah, right arm on the inside because you're going to kick with the left leg. And so you want to have your left arm on the outside. Right. Whenever you kick, the arm you the leg you kick with indicates which arm is on the outside of the cross. Yeah. Okay. So the legs, <clears throat> as I said, we start in a left separation kick. And we're going to be turning, we're doing the footwork now, and we're going to be doing a heel kick. So what we would do first is point the leg, turn our, turn our leg to the right, and then we're gonna swing it 
around to face the other direction, the opposite direction, and we want to land on our toe. If you can land, if you can, <clears throat> if you are able, and some people can, not everyone can do this, if you are able to kick and keep your knee up and then turn your knee, usually people turn their body to turn their knee, then they extend the leg and point it. If you are able to spin around at the same level and keep your knee up, you can do that. And then you kick with your heel. But a lot of us can't do that. And it's not required by us that you do it that way. So there are two ways to do the kick, in other words. Oh, Alicia, it looks like you just did it. <laughs> yeah, I did the ballet thing. Yeah. With your hands in your pockets, no less. Okay. <laughs> and here's the ballet. Okay, so really cool. other option. What's that? Uh, no, never mind. I was just saying she's really cool. Yeah, <laughs> she is. The other <laughs> option, as I said, is to spin around, touch to stop yourself with the ball of your foot. And that means you're going to you're going to um, swing around, sorry, touch, and that you're sinking when you do that, and sink. If you have not, you, if you turn around and touch you, and you haven't sunk yet, then you need to sink to your knees bent. Then you stand and then you do your heel kick. Okay. The heel kick itself. Actually, I have a question while we're talking about the spinning. Yes. Um, you know, my, my right knee is sensitive and I don't, I don't like to do things like spinning on my right yeah. knee. So, or my right leg. So mm -hmm. can I just step through that? Yes, you can, because that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> okay. Yes, you can. So it would look like this. So are you able to stand on your right leg and kick? Yeah, I just don't want to spin. Right. Okay. So, so let's yeah. do your kick. Right. Okay, you do your kick and you're balanced on your on your right leg and your knee is up. So if you hold that pose, then turn your knee to the right to 12 o'clock, almost the 12 is to the corner, really. And your but your hands are turned over, pointing at 12 o'clock. Then yeah. extend the foot and then just walk it around. And you can either you can either walk with your arms like this or um, what I do if I have trouble with that, <clears throat> extend the foot and then I turn it and then I pick up the foot and I step. But you can walk it or you can pick it up and step it. Okay. And yeah, I find with walking, sometimes I end up with a lot of steps, you know. Yeah. But I'll, either I'll way that feels up. comfortable for you. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Yeah. So then when you get to the other side, you would be facing three o'clock. When you're at, well, I'm gonna go this way. When you're at three o'clock and you say you've walked it around, when you walk it around, you should be like this. Bend your back, your back right leg and you're in an empty stance with your toe down or your ball of your foot. Then you're gonna stand on that right leg, bring up your left knee, Turn the foot so that it shows you pick up the toes and then you're sorry, then you're going to kick out as you open your feet. I mean, as you open your arms and then bring the toe back pointing down again. So for, I'm going to do it with my other leg. So let's say I'm using the other side. So I get to the other side and I'm like this. Okay, I stand. Then I change my foot shape and I kick. And then I bring it back and I turn the foot again. Okay, leaving the arms out. Okay, so you're kicking to three o'clock. So I don't know, I don't remember if JP discussed this, but we have three kinds of kicks in um, Tai Chi. And um, one is the, um, is the top, the flat part of the, the top part of the foot and the separation kicks, right? And that is usually for, um, you know, kicking someone either this way or that way, like a, you might see it like in a, you know, like a roundhouse kick kind of thing, something like that. The other way is um, through a heel. And this is a stomping kick actually, 
So it's, it's, you know, you might stomp someone's knee or their ankle, and it's a very powerful kick that we use those a lot. But, um, and then the third one is called a lotus kick, which is another roundhouse, you know, when it's like that kind of thing, a big white circling kick. And that's where you're kicking with the side of the foot, the sides. Very graceful. Oh, you know, my circle is so lean and low, like I have no hip coordination. That's why I couldn't be a ballet dancer. Um, but we don't do that one until the third section. So you have plenty of time to get better at, you know, strengthening your core and lifting so you can do kicks. So that's a good thing. And, and those are, you know, kicks can be challenging for a lot of us. So if you find it difficult to spin, walk around, you know, be safe. And if you find it difficult, like right now, I can't stand on my right leg much at all. So I'm doing this. I'm just, you know, I'm posing on it. And I might stomp out or kick out with, uh, you know, the top of the foot. Okay. Okay. Does anyone have questions about any of that? Okay. So let's review the separation kicks and this together. And if you have any questions, um, we can work on something. Okay. So yeah. I'm going to go the. Uh, let's see. I'd be going the same direction as you. So we will actually start from um, single whip. So we finished cloud hands and we end in single whip. We're going to start with high pad on horse. So high pad on horse. One, shift, drop the hook, bend the elbow, rotate the left hand, shifting back on the left heel, hand to the shoulder, pick up the left ball, put it down, turn and strike, bring the left hand in to the left side. Now to do the separation kick, number one, right separation kick. Shift back a little, right, turning to the right a little, pick up the left foot, step almost a corner on the inside of the corner, circle out to the right, and your weight is forward into that knee, and then come back to the left, look over your cross, stand on one leg, knee pointed where you're going to kick, look, and then kick with the top of your foot, bring the foot back. Rotate the hand, the right hand, bring the left hand to the shoulder. Now sink and step, cross uh, separation kick number two. Sink and step. <clears throat> and you're going to be going again almost to the corner on the right foot, shifting your weight toward that leg. Circle to the left with the left arm to the left corner. Rotate that arm as you come back. Your eyes are following as you do this. Look over your cross. Stand, look where you're going to kick, kick with the top of the foot, bring the foot back in, pointed toward the left, the right knee. Now, with the knee up still, if you can, rotate the left hand, rotate both hands, bring the left hand over to the right side facing 12 o'clock, extend the left foot, and then pivot, spin on the right heel landing on the ball of the left foot, sink your weight. Your right hand should be on the inside of your cross. Stand so you can kick, change your foot to a heel kick and kick out with your hands open and then bring the, the foot back, bending the foot, pointing it toward your knee. How did that go? Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. <laughs> so, okay. How did it go for you, Mark? Do you have any questions? I'm I can't just, even see you, so you're just going to have to tell me. <laughs> no, 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 no I'm, I'm getting there. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Which part is hard for people in this? Anything? Um, I'm getting confused on the directions. Oh, okay. For, direction. Yeah. For which, for all of it? Uh, well, which it starts from. Um, it starts after uh, single whip. Yes, which is at the end of cloud hands. We finish uh, cloud hands in a single whip. Okay, so at that point we're facing nine o'clock. Or um, no, let's see. Yeah, we're facing nine o'clock. At that point, 
Yes. Okay. So for nine o'clock, we do high pad on horse to nine o'clock. Okay. And then we do the first separation kick, which is with the right leg. It's called right separation kick. That our body is basically in your direction, be pointing to nine o'clock. Okay. So with the very first kick, I'm going to be kicking <clears throat> between these. I'm going to kick to these two corners okay. to the uh, first to the almost the 1030 corner, and then the second kick almost to the 730 corner. And when we, what we're doing first is stepping our feet to the correct angle. We can't exactly kick exactly to a, a, a inside or outside that easily of a corner, but it's important that you put your feet in the right place. Okay. So we're not stepping to the corners in either kick. So from the very first, if I'm facing, I'm going to face this way because this would be your direction. If I finish a single whip, I'm facing nine o'clock. Okay. My first movement, I don't have to worry about the direction. I'm in the same direction. With the next movement, when I say turn the body a little bit, that's because you are turning your waist and you're uh, pulling someone to the right. And then you step. Here's where you step. Now, my left foot is stepping out, but I don't want to cross my feet. I don't want to cross my heels. So I'm going to step a little bit wider with the left side, but I'm not going to point my foot exactly to the corner of, to, of 730. I'm going to be on the inside of that corner or rather on the um, closer to eight o'clock side. Okay. So more than corner, let's say, okay, put your foot down and then you shift your body toward that area. Here's where you want to line up your left elbow with your left knee, right? Then you do your circles, you look to the right corner, your hand circles to the right corner, and then it comes back and you are looking still toward all that left corner, which as I said, is a little bit more than corner, right? Good. Then you're gonna stand up and you're gonna kick toward the right corner. So just, you're, you're aiming toward the right corner. That's all you need to worry about for that kick, right? Okay. Then, after you do the kick, your arms are out, and then you change your hands. Then you do the other kick. So here, you need to sink your weight so you can step out. So that means lower your weight on your left leg, and then reach out with your right heel. And you're going to step, um, again, wide enough that you don't cross your feet. So you're stepping toward the corner, but it's going to be this time again on the inside of the corner. So less than 1030. Then put your foot down, and then you're going to <clears throat> shift your weight toward that leg, circle out to the left with the left arm, then come back, rotating that arm, and your eyes are following while you do that cross, and you're looking over your cross at almost at the corner area. Now here, you need to make sure your right elbow is lined up with your right knee. Okay. And then you come in and stand, you rise and you do your, you look before you kick, you're gonna to kick to the left corner here, kick, and then bring in the knee. And that's a lot of moving. So which does any, does that make sense to you before we go on to the other? That's really okay. helpful. Yeah, that really clears it up, thank you. Does that help? Okay, yeah. good. So just remember that we have two kicks, they have the same movements, they have slightly, you kind of, you, you basically do them identically. There is a transition inside between them and then outside okay. as we finish the set, right? So you have to get from one movement to the next, then you have to get from a previous movement. And then when you're done, you go to another movement. Okay. Now, what about the turn body heel kick? Do you understand the directions with that? Uh, I think I've got that. I spent a lot of time on that last week with JP, so. Very good. I'm not Very too good. I, I'm only, uh, my problem with it is in executing it. <laughs> so that, you know, that's a really challenging move for a lot of people. It's not that easy, actually. I think it's just because you're spinning and trying to land in the right place. It's not that you can't maybe turn or spin, but usually people overspin or they get, you know, yeah. their feet are in the wrong direction. When you finish turning, for example, I'm going to use my other leg. I'm going to do it this way. 
I see. If I were doing it this way. Uh, let me see if I can do it here. If I were to spin like this and kick, I wouldn't want to land with my foot straight. It would need to be at an angle. Oh, okay. So you want to turn so that your the foot you're standing on is pointed to the corner, okay. so you can then kick. Yeah. Remember, we have one foot to the corner, the back foot. Yeah. yeah Usually, yeah. when we're standing and kicking, always when we're standing and kicking. Okay. 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 I think I've been making that mistake, trying to land with my foot straight, and then I lose my balance. Yeah. Well, you're overturned, and then you're trying to kick straight, and maybe you can't even kick straight. Yeah. You know, so here's something else to think about when you're kicking. So um, it's about your breath. A lot of people hold their breath before they, when they're kicking. So it's much harder to stand, hold your breath, and kick. It's easier, and we can practice this. As you come in, remember the first thing that's really important about kicking is to make sure you're stable and you're centered over the foot that you want to stand on. So if you try to stand while you know you're still shifting onto the leg and you're trying to rise, you're going to throw your balance off. It's hard, very hard to control that. So you've got to keep that foot stable, rise like you're climbing up a pole. And then as you kick, let out the air. So let's practice that once. As you, as you kick, let, let out the air, you said? Yeah. So breathe in as you rise to stand, and then breathe out as you kick. Try that again. So we'll pretend, like, don't worry about all the arms. We're just going to practice getting into a kick and kicking. So breathe in, breathe in. Breathe out. Again, breathe in. Breathe out. You'll notice that if you breathe whether you breathe in or out, if you hold your breath when you're kicking, if you just breathe in and hold your breath and then you kick, it's harder to keep your balance. Let's try it once. So breathe, stand, like move to rise into your left leg, breathe in and hold your breath all the way. And then kick. Oh, well, except for Alicia. <laughs> Anyway, it is more difficult to um, maintain your balance, especially when you're learning to kick. Yeah, nobody, that's a real thing in ballet too. Nobody holds their breath ever. It's a lot, yeah. it's a lot of strategic breathing. Otherwise, yeah. You just fall down dead because you're so dizzy, you're spinning so much, you just have to like. Yeah, well, and in Tai Chi, you have to learn, you have to learn about that because a lot of times when you're learning something new, you just stop breathing. Yeah, you know, you're concentrating all the time, and you're—I don't know—your breath is shallow, and that makes you more more rigid. Yeah. Okay, so let's move on to a next another movement. It's called it's left fresh knee, but it has an interesting transition. So I'm going to show you with my um, on the opposite side with my good leg. <laughs> so we finish like this with a, le a left heel kick, right? And then what we're going to do <clears throat> is go into the brush knees. So the back hand comes forward like this, and then it drops as the right hand, as the other hand comes down and up, and then you make a nice brush knee circle as you slowly sink and strike. So there, first let's work on the legs. So I can do this on the, on the, I'm just going to basically, I'm mirroring you right now. So if I was in a right heel kick, I'm standing up. So what I want to do is slowly sink my weight on the left leg and then step out to a bow step with my heel and then shift, 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 shift then stop. Okay. 
And the thing about this movement is that we have to coordinate the arm, the entire movement with the sinking of our bodies. So let's do it again. So stand like you've just finished your kick. Slowly sink, reaching out with the right leg, set it down, continue moving, shift, 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 stop. That would be the footwork for the first brush knee. So if we go back to um, remembering um, White Crane. So uh, we are up here like with this with white, white Crane, our right hand is up high over our uh, protecting our head. We separated arms. And then from here, we go into the into left brush knee. And so we rotate the arm. And then we slowly start bringing it down and it becomes this nice big lovely circle swings to the back comes forward and goes out right mm -hmm. so it's the same arm but we're not coming from 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 this movement we're coming from this okay so our arms are in this is kicking arm so i'm going to use a different arm right so my left, it's going to be uh, your right arm, but I'm, I'm mirroring you here. So I'm going to come up with my arm and extend it. As I'm turning it, I turn it until it's coming, uh, turns palm down. And then I come down with the arm and go back up. And then I go into finishing my brush knee and strike. So if my arms, I'm going to use it the other side. This is my right hand now. This We do it with the right hand. So I'm looking at three o'clock. I just finished kicking at three o'clock. My right hand is not um, above my head. I am going to now raise the arm, make it high, and turn it as I bring it forward in front of myself. So I'm like this. My arms are apart, and they're both high. And then I continue dropping it, palms, finger down, and then bring it back up and then come to the shoulder and then strike. My right hand, from I mean my other hand, is going to do your, your typical lift and press down, brush, and then come down. So together, we want to have a nice circular movement, but this left hand <clears throat> isn't going to turn over until. Now it starts to turn, press down, back, brush, strike. So from this angle, if I'm like this, I'm gonna go up, over, coming down, press up and down, lift up, press down, back, brush, strike, okay? So we wanna have a feeling of circular energy. This is a circle we wanna maintain, right? So the circle begins, even though we're starting here with our arm out, we wanna create that circle as we rotate the arm all the way across, and then we come back down and then come to the hand, shoulder and out. So let's try it. I'll demonstrate it for you. Let's see. If I do it this way, come over and then down, brush and strike. So remember how we say step and close with our circles? Yeah. So where would the step and close be in a movement like this? I'm on one leg, circle, shifting my weight down. When I get to the other side, step. And then I can, and I then continue shifting to finish that. So from, to show you from this side, I'll go this direction. You're gonna do, then from here, you're gonna go to the other side, do another brush knee. So we're starting with a, um, let's see, 
Oh, that's not going to help you. I'm going to go this direction. Okay. Rotate. Sinking, pressing down, step, brush, and strike. Back, open the foot, bend the arm, transition to make the other brush knee. Back, step, strike. Okay, so we are in a, a um, to do it with the correct lay. I'm standing on my right foot. I kicked with my left foot. My knee is up and my hands are out. From here, rotate the right arm, turn it to face you. Then the left hand starts to turn as you're sinking. Step as you reach the other side and then you brush and then you strike. That's one. Number two, now you're gonna do a right brush knee. Shift, transition, circle, brush, and strike. Let's do it again. I'm going to go this direction. Okay, so let's see. I'm like this. Okay, so from here, this is called left brush knee. Rotate, lift and rotate the arm. When you get to it in front of you, the left arm comes up, the right arm continues. You are sinking on one leg. Reach out with the left leg, heel step. Rush, continue shifting, and then strike. You're in bow step with this, of course. Now, right brush knee, shift, lift back, or lift your arm, shift back. Bend the elbow, open the foot, go toward the foot, swing. Swing to the left, step brush and strike. Okay. How did that go, Mark? I've done brush I've done brush knee a lot. Okay. So, so this I don't really have a lot of questions. Okay. Any questions about lowering the weight or maintaining your balance or anything like that? Yeah, when will I get good at it? Yeah. <laughs> you know what that that is that movement took me a few years to get really strong at. You need to have a strong leg, frankly. Yeah. Um, but just keep working at it, you know, like everything else, and you gather and you'll gain strength. Okay. But it's it's really about having a nice sense of an escalator kind of look, you know, kind of like those, you know, like you know, right? Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. How about you guys, Alicia and Thomas? Any questions? No, left and right brush knee. We got, I think, pretty much. Okay. Okay. So let's practice that a few more times. Actually, let's practice it from, let's do the, um, do it from uh, the separation kicks. We'll go to turn body and then we will turn body and do the um, left brush knee. Okay. So I'm going to try to go the same direction as you, but I'm going to walk mine around my turn body kick. So we just finished the left separation kick. Your knee is bent and it's raised. Turn the left leg toward the right corner, the right knee. Turn the hands over, extend the foot, and then swing or walk around. Right hand on the inside, sink. Your toe is on the, on the floor. Stand, raise the knee, do a left heel kick. Bring in the foot, left brush knee. One, bring up the right arm, rotating the right arm till it faces you and sink as you come down, circling um, to the back corner, brush and strike. Right brush knee, shift and lift, open, Swing, brush, and strike. Let's do it a few more times. From the end of the last separation kick, you're on the right leg. Turning to the right, rotate the hands, extend the foot, spin on the right heel, sink. 
Stand, lifting the left leg and do a left heel kick. Bend the knee. And now left fresh knee. Lift the right arm, rotating palm facing you. Left hand comes up and down as you sink. Step to a bow step. Brush, strike. Right brush knee, shift, bend, circle, brush, and strike. And again, go a different direction. Okay. Okay. Turn the hands, bring the left hand over to 12 o'clock, extend the, the foot. Spin, sink, stand, lift the knee, heel kick, bend the knee, the fresh knee, lifting the right arm, rotate the arm, sinking, circle, brush, strike, right brush knee, back, open, circle, brush, and strike. How did that go, Mark? Um, I'm getting there. Is this is this recording going to be on the website? Yes. Okay. I need to. Yes. I need to just go over a few things. And uh, Thomas and Alicia. I think we're good. Yeah, so far so good. We'll practice. Okay. We'll practice. So are you, um, how's the turning around going for you, Thomas? And is it, you said it's okay to stand and kick on the right leg? Yeah, it's just that I don't want to torque it or anything. So spinning yeah, is yeah. not, but I can, I standing and kicking is fine. And it's okay as you stand and sink on the right leg? I mean, you know, it's okay. It could be better, but it's as strong as it is. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Well, don't don't overwork that knee. You know, I don't want you yeah. to like have a setback, so you can't do those other things you want to do. All well, right. Yeah, I mean, it's the same strength as I mean, even just doing a regular brush knee, you still have to kind of do that. So it's a, yeah. yeah. So okay. It's, well, it was really nice to see you guys. Thank you for joining me, and yeah. let's close class, and we'll see you next week. Thank you. Uh, this will go on the website. Okay. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. Nice to meet you, Mark. You. Bye, guys. Bye. Nice to see you again.